Thank you. Thank you. You know, what a wonderful opportunity to be tonight talking with you and talking with the world about something that is transformational and comes from, I know that there are a lot of Hispanic people here, and I know that this concept has different type of connotation in different countries in the Latino America. But tonight I want to talk about the concept of mi casa es su casa that I learned in my original country in Bolivia as a tool, as a concept, as a principle of transformational management and leadership. And I want to tell you that this wonderful concept based in two, two elements that are extremely important. One is the concept of love and the concept of hospitality. These two pictures are a reflection of what in my country we experience. My country, Bolivia, has 33 different nations in one country. I love when people say, oh, the Hispanic culture. Well, Hispanic culture is not really Hispanic culture. There are multiple, multiple cultures in the Hispanic, and within the country, multiple, multiple cultures. 33 different nations, two pictures here that reflect the east and the west of my country. But you know what is very interesting that I found, even traveling around Latino America, is that there is some elements that are very common, and it's called, mi casa es su casa. The moment that I went to the east part of my country in a small town, it's called Rurrenabaque, close to the jungle, I will never forget this man who told me, Mauricio, and this is the first time that he met me, mi casa es su casa. And the moment that he said that, he really meant it. The next time when I went down there, I arrived. And the man told me, hi, cousin. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. It was an immediate connection that became a welcoming. You are part of us. And the question that I have is, what are those key elements that make this concept of mi casa o es su casa as a transformational concept of leadership and management? How can we take this basic concept of mi casa es su casa to manage better companies, corporations, to manage better organizations, institutions, and in the end, the community. How mi casa es su casa can be and being used to change the way how we man manage and lead it. And there are elements here. The first element that I love is welcoming. And I have a question is, it's a real welcoming what we do, for example, in corporations when we do these wonderful onboarding programs and they come with their vision, mission, strategy goals, all those wonderful things that are great, but no one understands. <laughs> and there's your book. There's the vision, and this is the mission, and this is the goal that we will achieve. And this is the way to achieve those goals. Oh, great, wonderful, wonderful. And you sit in that cubicle, and you are a number. And there is no connection. And you know what happens usually in corporate America? You become that number and you start producing. And when things are getting in crisis and the move happens, we don't need you anymore. Here's your memo. Welcome. Bye. Welcoming in mi casa su casa is a very interesting com 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 con concept that allows us to create that relationship forever. That goes above and beyond just the nuclear family. You can be a total stranger, and they welcome you, and you are part of the family. And you know what? It's the rule of society. That's how you live in those small towns. It's a rule of society that you become part of that wonderful family. And the other element that is very important is the inten intentional connection. So there's, there is this man who starts hugging me, and sometimes kissing me. And you feel like, oh, what is going on here? But you know what? What do you do with little kids? You hug and kiss them. And you know what? Society is forgetting about this basic concept that allow us to love each other, to transform organizations, institutions. 
it's time to reflect about these basic con con concepts that historical cultures have helped us to develop. The other one that I, f I love is the moment that I get to his house, the element of honor and good manners and respect become the foundation of the way how we believe and behave. And it's an automatic action. You know how much money corporate spend today to follow protocols, procedures, our core beliefs? Everybody knows that, right? Everybody that works in corporations, oh, this is our core beliefs, and you have these wonderful binders in all over places, and everybody follows the protocols and procedures. How many of you believe in those core beliefs? How many of you really are driving and living those elements? You know, mi casa es su casa has the best strategies that can touch your heart and transform the way how you see those core beliefs, and really you engage. And you are not anymore a follower, but you are a believer. And the other element that I love is this final concept of the we. There are multiple strategies and leadership who study leadership and spending millions and millions of dollars in leadership development. This is the most fascinating element. There are three, 10 theories there that are flying. The first decade theories, they were focusing more in, oh, here's the man, he has the element to be the leader. The second theory has become more relational. Okay, leadership is a connection with others and how followers you connect. And lately, very interesting the theories about leadership are talking about you know, transformational leadership and how you engage and how you serve. But when I go to the Mikasa es su casa, you don't need to spend millions of dollars to create the we and how the leader is being followed because you have believers and those believers love the leader. Today I have a challenge to every single one that is watching here or is being in that media and be watching this wonderful video. How many people really follow you because they love you? And that's the transformational element of Mi Casa Es Su Casa, which I believe goes from the transformation that you need to live in a new society. This is the time in history where technology, crisis, communication, uncertainty, will be happening more and more. Get ready. But mi casa es su casa is a concept that actually was born because in the Hispanic culture, usually we have deal for many, many years with poverty. We have deal with coup d'etats and crisis. And you know what? The unification bonding company of mi casa es su casa has become an excellent tool to create the we can do it, and we can transform. So we go from the iPad logic, my I, I, it's all about me, right? iPhone, iPad, I, my career development path, my goals, my strategy, blah, blah, blah. It's all about me. All the world needs to around me. Mi casa es su casa really become the element of understanding that it's not only about you, but it's about we. So I just took this wonderful, and, and some people will help me. You know, they are the HR experts, and they talk about recruiting, staffing, onboarding, career path, performance results, accountability, wonderful. All that is great to create robots. <laughs> we live with humans. And if you incorporate that concept of loving others, and understand that we can be different. But can I engage a relationship and understand your needs first than my needs? We can build a better society. We can build better companies. We can build better organizations. And the message that I want to finish is a message of we have spent millions and millions and millions and millions and trillions transform management and they are gurus and I'm not against performance result and result based management but there are very simple theories that come from our roots that can be elevated to start loving your co-workers you probably spend 50 60 if you are a hard working 80 percent 90 percent of your time where at the job site right at the workplace how much you are really loving your co-worker, or how much you are fighting to get to that place. It's time to give more. 
It's time to deserve more. It's time for a transformation. And I believe that this type of events help us to reflect that. And I want to say, go home and start implementing the wonderful concept of Mikasa es su casa. Thank you.